Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to retexture items on Roblox Studio, which is actually pretty easy to do. And as you can see here, I am in my fighting game, which I've been working on a lot recently. If you watched my video where I tried to make a Roblox game in under 10 minutes, you would probably know what this is. I've been changing a lot of stuff and I've been working on it quite a bit. But basically, I've been making new weapons and doing retextures, and I realized I could probably make a tutorial about this and teach other people how to do this too, because it is kind of neat how this works and everything. I'm going to show you guys an example of a retexture. So, as you can see here, this is a normal sword, and then we have my retextured sword, which has a different design and everything. It has red instead of the gold yellow. Has this nice red design and I made like a flaming sword has a fire on it and actually does set people on fire in the game as well I'm sure to do stuff like that and just change the texture change how it looks and everything you can completely just redo the texture as well if you wanted to let's just go ahead and make a new texture of the sword so basically we open up the sword in the Explorer go into the mesh which is in the handle of the sword and you want to also have properties open for this and you're gonna see that the texture ID is in the data here that's what I'm going to be changing is that basically to go ahead and find the texture of the sword or whatever item you're trying to make a texture of you want to go ahead and go to the catalog assuming that Whatever item you're going to retexture is already an item that originates from the Roblox catalog or whatever. Go ahead and find it. Now I know this sword is called the Linked Sword. And just click on that. So here it is. And now before we continue, there is an extension that you need to do this. So it's an easier process. You want to go ahead and use Roblox Plus, which is a Roblox Google Chrome extension. Now... It is very useful and it has a lot of useful features on it. One of them is showing the textures of items and everything on the item page on Roblox. There will be a link to this extension in the description below so you guys go ahead and easily, you know, add this Chrome. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and see that there's linked items down here and it's going to show all the contents of this sword. I'm going to go ahead and just simply click on this and it'll take us right to the texture. And you want to go ahead and just copy this. So after copying the texture, you want to go ahead and go into paint.net, which is a free editing software that you can use to, you know, edit images and stuff like that. But anyways, go ahead and paste this sword texture in there. Super useful. I use it to make my video thumbnails and a lot of other stuff. So very awesome software. Link to it in the description. Highly recommend you use this. But you can just go ahead and use whatever you already have if you prefer something else. Now that you have the texture, you can go ahead and change it completely if you want to. Which actually I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But also you can go ahead and just change the hue of it if you wanted to like a different color. You know? So I can make it like a blue, I can make it green, I can make it just any color I want which is super awesome. We're going to do something bit different. I'm going to go ahead and just take this and work out one piece at a time so I know this is part of the blade here. pretty much good this is gonna be really interesting to see how it turns out on the sword but anyways let's go ahead and save that okay and saved go back to Roblox studio and simply let's go ahead and go to the texture ID and add an image and go ahead and choose a file call it new sword texture you can just change the name there let's go ahead and let's create it and see how it turns out create Oh wow. Well oh, I actually that looks pretty good actually. Wow, that actually turned out super nice. A really decent sword. My new design on it. I got like a more simple design and uh, it's just turned out to look super nice. I think it did a pretty good job. We're gonna go ahead and compare it to the original sword. As you can see here they look somewhat similar, but my new sword design is more simplistic and all that. And uh, I think it actually matches 
the whole style of my game pretty well with everything being looking a little simple. So I might actually change the sword texture to my new texture for my fighting game. Now that I think about it, I really like my texture a lot now. Really awesome, and you guys can make really awesome retextures of items. It doesn't even take a lot of work. I mean, like it can just be super simple, and it's really easy to do. And uh, it's just, it's actually really fun to do for your games. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you did, make sure you add and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And until next time, goodbye.